This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 732, The Three Most Amazing Types of Freedom, by Paula Pant of AffordAnything.com. And I am Dan, I'm your host here on the show. If you're new here, this is where I read to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet. And before we get to it, how often do you call a business only to end up at voicemail, or worse, an impatient or bored person? It makes a world of difference to talk to an actual person who is friendly and courteous, yet professional. That's where Abby Connect comes in. Abby Connect has a world-class team of receptionists ready for your callers tomorrow morning. Visit abbyconnect.com slash finance and experience the difference. That's A-B-B-Y-C-O-N-N-E-C-T dot com slash finance. For now, let's get right to our post and start optimizing your life. Now let's get right to our post as we start optimizing your life. The Three Most Amazing Types of Freedom by Paula Pant of AffordAnything.com You can smash almost any limit. You can escape the cubicle. You can fire your boss. You can overcome your internal self-doubts. You can sculpt a flat stomach, make dozens of new friends, and speak a foreign language. Heck, you can even learn to dance. Limits don't apply to you. Well, most limits. Unfortunately, there's one limit that we can never shatter, our time on this planet. Time is our most limited and therefore our most valuable possession. Yet the majority of us are trading that precious resource, time, for something that's near infinite in quantity, money. That's unsustainable. Keep it up and we'll exhaust our supply of time. But there is a way out. You see, money is a renewable resource. It can automatically regenerate itself. Money is self-sustaining. Time is not. It's limited, it's non-renewable, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. Rather than trade time for money in perpetuity, it makes far more sense to momentarily trade time for money and then harness that money into renewing itself. Lather, rinse, repeat. Soon, the money will sustain itself enough that our time becomes fully ours again. But we can't quit the time for money trade tomorrow. Freedom comes in stages, and that's why I'd like to chat about three types of freedom. Debt freedom, location freedom, and financial freedom. Stage one is debt freedom. This variety of freedom is self-explanatory. When you experience debt freedom, you don't owe a dime to any lenders. Screw you, MasterCard. Many people describe debt freedom as the day they felt a massive, crushing weight lifted off their shoulders. I applaud them, but I have to admit, I'm also a little bit befuddled by that description. Because even after you've achieved debt freedom, you still have the rather irritating responsibility of needing to feed, bathe, and clothe yourself and your family. And unfortunately, you must resort to the dreaded time for money exchange to achieve this. That's why the quest for freedom can't stop here. Debt freedom is the starting point on a much longer journey. Stage two, location freedom. Location freedom is the ability to spend your time anywhere on the planet anytime you have a hankering to travel there. Want to explore the jungles of Borneo next week? Sip coffee in Paris? Snorkel the Great Barrier Reef? You got it. You live in the 21st century, you lucky duck, and that means that you possess more location flexibility than any human being at any point in history. You have cheap airfare and ubiquitous internet connectivity at your disposal, and by golly, you're not gonna squander that opportunity. Location freedom is a stepping stone. Some people leap from debt freedom to full-fledged financial freedom without experiencing this intermediate level along the way. They trade a few grueling years of shackled hard labor in order to fast-track a lifetime of passive income. Other people, myself included, cultivate location freedom to make those intervening years more enjoyable. We tend to prefer multiple mini-retirements throughout every stage of life. Stage three is financial freedom. Financial freedom is the ultimate independence. You no longer need to ride the time for money carousel. At this point, you can do anything you'd well please. If your job is your life's mission and calling and you'd love nothing more than to continue working, you're free to continue working. Likewise, if you want to move to Tahiti and read books on the beach all day, you're free to do that as well. Here's where we get nerdy. Now here's a head scratcher. Are these consecutive levels like you're advancing from freshman to senior year? Or can you leap from one stage to the other as though you're playing hopscotch? I've laid these out as stepping stones that gradually carry you across the freedom spectrum. But some people say all three are independent of one another. You can hopscotch from one stage to another. 
So who's right? I don't think it matters. People can get stuck spinning their wheels about awesome life theory. They'll spend an hour debating between the four types of retirement, or they'll argue that this whole model isn't scalable because if everyone ditched the cubicle, our economy will collapse. They'll postulate and rationalize and absolve themselves of any need to improve their station in life. Then they'll battle rush hour traffic, sit in a crummy cubicle with a flickering fluorescent light overhead, and fume that the cards are stacked against them. Instead of debating awesome life theory, how about taking some action? Pay an extra $200 towards your debt. Negotiate with your boss to work remotely every Friday. Put 100 bucks into a dividend stock fund. Toss an extra 400 into your savings accounts. Read one book about how to buy a rental property. Better yet, buy the property. If conceptualizing the three stages of freedom as a linear one, two, three progression motivates you, then embrace that worldview. If conceptualizing the three stages as a Venn diagram or game of hopscotch motivates you, do that. If adopting a totally different paradigm lights a fire under your butt, then go for it. Just don't sit around debating the minutia of awesomeness. Instead, Take action. Start smashing limits. Start building a big old heap of savings. Start negotiating with your boss or building your side business or buying some investments. Reclaim your time. It's all you've got. You just listened to the post titled The Three Most Amazing Types of Freedom by Paula Pant of AffordAnything.com. Thank you again to Abby Connect for sponsoring this episode. Did you know that more than half of Americans have walked away from a purchase or business because of poor service? It shouldn't come as a big surprise. 79% of consumers want high-quality, human-driven customer service, and I can relate. If a company has bad service, I'm out. Let Abby Connect help. It's the end of the year, and adding Abby Connect to answer your calls in 2019 is a great way to improve and grow your business in the new year. Abby Connect has a world-class team of receptionists ready for your callers tomorrow morning. Don't believe it? A quick Google search shows hundreds of positive reviews from small business owners who love Abby Connect. Visit abbyconnect.com finance and experience the difference with a free two-week trial and $95 off your first bill. That's A-B-B-Y-C-O-N-N-E-C-T dot com slash finance. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for listening and have a great rest of your day. I will see you back here for tomorrow's show where your optimal life awaits.